Hey everybody, meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We're going to talk about the weekend storm system, which is going to be primarily rain outside of the mountains. Even in the mountains, there are going to be some valleys that are going to see very little snow. And then you go up in elevation and the, the totals could jump pretty, pretty high. Let's get right to the maps here. We're going to get, cut right to the chase here. Um, here's the, the cold front over us now. Not really doing much, but a wave of low pressure is going to form down here. All the action with this system is going to be this upper low interacting with the front and a new low forming here and then moving up the coast, trying to throw moisture back into what is relatively warm air. But this upper level system has cold air with it. So as it pushes east, it is likely going to bring some of its cold air with it at the, at the upper levels and try to bring it down to the surface. The problem is that's really hard to do, and we don't have the dynamics to do that fully. And even if it does, it would be in very isolated locations. But if you're in elevation, like in the mountains, you've got the up left, you've already got the mountain there to push you up into those colder temperatures. So let's get right to the forecast. All right, let's get right to the uh, the future cast here. So remember, the surface low is going to form down here. This is the upper level system. We'll go hour by hour through today. You could see the rain eventually starts to spread back in later tonight, at least the first wave. And then we get into the late night hours into early Saturday. I actually think we'll spend most of the day on Saturday somewhat dry, but then new moisture starts to move in late tomorrow night into uh, Sunday. So a lot of this precipitation is not going to be making it up here. It's really going to be late saturday into sunday so we'll go into saturday evening you see the rain starts to spread north so maybe as soon as saturday evening that's when i expect the rain to really pick up here's our upper level system notice this is primarily rain even in the mountains this could start as rain before it starts to transition to snow late saturday night and the pink in this case is likely going to be maybe a little bit of ice at the beginning but it's going to transition to snow pretty quickly um, as we get into the early hours of Sunday morning, so 1 o'clock in the morning, pretty cold rain falling in many locations. This cold rain will be around most of Sunday morning. In the mountains, this is going to be kind of a mix of everything, but primarily snow or rain. In the valleys, it could be a whole bunch of rain and with snow in the higher elevation. So again, even in the mountains, it's not a solid chance of snow below 3,500 feet. Like Asheville, I see a lot of people throwing out crazy numbers for Asheville. Asheville probably could end up with an inch or two, but you go up to the top of Black Mountain or Mount Mitchell, it could be 14 inches. So within a short distance, there's going to be some wild swings. So we go into early Sunday morning, you can see the dry slot trying to come in, and that's always something you worry about in these systems. That could shut off the precipitation for most of the Piedmont. But if there's going to be a burst of snow outside of the mountains, it's going to happen in the middle of the day on Sunday as the upper low which is right here passes overhead and you see some hints of it on our future cast but not tons of it it's primarily rain and even where this snow is falling it's melting almost continuously on the way down and on contact so it'll have a tough time sticking unless you had a heavy band but these heavy bands are more up into virginia in this setup so there's still some wild cards in this but it's becoming pretty clear that this is going to be 90 to 95 percent rain outside of the mountains with a small glimmer of hope that there's a burst of wet snow mixed in there and even in that scenario it doesn't amount to anything as far as accumulation so it, it's really going to be more of those things like hey i saw snow falling outside and then boom it's gone so let's further break this down so let's glance at the ensembles for charlotte if you're still holding that hope european ensembles there's still some snow there but the grand total is like 0.4 the gfs has some there but the grand total is a trace so you're not i mean you're not looking at a ton if we look at what we call the shreff plume and this is an interesting phenomenon it kind of shows the short range rapid model data there is an outlier at five inches but that's an outlier most of them are down here at zero and the mean is 0.4 inches so even in all of this guidance you're not looking at huge total the outliers are even really really low so one of the things i like to look at is something we call the blend of models and this is taking all of the guidance all of the different deterministic models the ensembles and we blend it it's like a super ensemble if you will and if you look at the blend of models which is really the way you should look at a lot of these events instead of pulling one out of 100 pieces of data and running with it is you could see the mountains are really where we're going to see it and even in the valleys like look at Asheville, 1.4 but over here, you know, towards Mount Mitchell, there's some totals over a foot. Charlotte near zero, but there could be a trace. Half an inch in Hickory, South Mountains, you get the idea. I actually did a high resolution map of this to kind of show you how elevation is really crucial. And you could see like the balsams could get really heavy snow, the Smokies, 
right around Black Mountain, Mount Mitchell area. That's another spot. But in the French Broad River Valley, uh, one to three is probably even too high. Probably should be traced to one. Heading over towards Beach and Sugar Mountain, Grandfather Mountain, those are the areas where you could get seven or nine inches. In Boone, probably more like three to five, but some of the valleys could be even lower. And as you work down in elevation, yeah, I'm going to have a trace for some of these areas, but the South Mountains, the Brushies, um, some of these areas as you go into Rutherford County and Polk County and, you know, parts of uh, May, uh, Mitchell County and Marion County, those are these lower elevations that could still see some. But east of there, it's just hard to forecast any snow at all in this situation. And I kind of I kind of agree with this. Now, the one thing that's interesting is watching that cold pocket aloft. You see it trying to move in um, and it's late Sunday. Most of the rain is already gone. So that further tells me that we're not going to have a good setup for snow. I could even look at cross sections of the atmosphere and I love looking at these. Um, so I'm going to throw myself right here in the middle because this is actually what we use quite a bit to forecast the thickness of the atmosphere. You could see this is the uh, height. So the ground is down at the bottom brown. You see time. The white line is currently. And we'll go to Sunday afternoon. You see this right here? This is actually the freezing level. Notice how it dips Sunday afternoon pretty close to the surface. This is like around 2,000 feet. At the same time, let's look at where the precipitation is. Um, you can see the precipitation is kind of offset over in here where it's much warmer. So even though the cold air comes in, it comes in at the tail end of the precipitation and the heavy stuff's over here. If this heavy stuff was here, it would allow this to change over. But you could see this is showing all rain right now. So this even further tells me we don't have a really good chance of snow. The sounding itself, I can look at the sounding, same time frame. This is about as good as it gets. And I don't think you can see the actual time here. So let me move this up. This is around Sunday afternoon at 12. Let's go to three o'clock in the afternoon. It, the freezing level, if you look over here, is down to about 2,800 feet, um, maybe 3,000, somewhere in there. And it's all warm. And then it's the surface. It's four and a half degrees Celsius. So these, these, what I'm showing you, for those that don't fully grasp, these are soundings. This is a profile of the temperatures in the atmosphere. All of this points to us not seeing much of any snow east of the mountains other than maybe a quick snow shower or burst. So it's something still to keep an eye on on Sunday, but all in all, this is mostly rain, so don't freak out. Not that big of a deal. Now, in the mountains, this could be a big deal. If you're going to like the top of Beach, Sugar, Grandfather, any high elevations, if you're going anywhere above 3,500 feet, you better have chains and four-wheel drive uh, Sunday because it could be really, really deep in many locations. In fact, let me show you that winter weather um, impact graphic real quickly. So this is a great graphic to kind of show you the impacts of the winter storm, more so than worrying about how much snow, what, what impact is it going to have on my life? So across the Charlotte area, you know, we're looking at basically no impact. Um, that's the gray. The lighter shade here, you can see a uh, winter weather area, some winter weather conditions expected, not much of a big deal. Once you get into the, the yellow here, that's where you start to see some minor impacts, some winter weather driving conditions, so caution given. Once you get to the orange, that's moderate impact. So you're looking at areas in elevation and then look at the red. Uh, that's Mount Mitchell, the balsams over the Smokies. Red are major impacts, dangerous, impassable roads, probably wet, heavy snow, um, big time travel issues. So this will give you a really good gauge on where the issues are going to be if you're traveling on Sunday. If you're traveling east of there, anywhere in that gray, light gray to dark gray, I don't expect any wet roads. That's what you should expect. So you get the idea. This is not going to be a huge impact unless you're going to high elevations. And if you're going there, you probably already know this time of year, you should have all wheel, four wheel drive or chains because this is going to be a wet, heavy snow. Have a great Friday. I will continue to post updates. Stay tuned in the mountains. I wish I was there. I was in the cabin this weekend or something up there because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a winter wonderland. This is the kind of snow that will coat everything. So it is going to look beautiful in parts of the mountains on Sunday.